Hello everyone, this is Comic, RJ, and Sizzlin, back with another week of Halo Infinite News. Today, we'll talk about the Spartan surplus operation, what's to come, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Tenrai 4 operation is live for its final week. There's still time for players to unlock Tenrai themed rewards and Spartan points from this 20 tier free operation pass. Buying either of the premium pass options will also grant players the Onyx Edge armor coating and make it so the pass never expires. After this operation ends, the Spartan Surplus operation will begin. This operation will also contain a pass with 20 tiers of free earnable rewards and Spartan points, along with premium options to make the pass last forever. Articles can be found below detailing everything we currently know about this upcoming operation and what's still to come. In the meantime, stay tuned here for all the latest content dropping into Halo Infinite. Players who log into Halo Infinite from now until Sunday will unlock themselves the Unity 24 armor coating, visor, and emblem set for Pride Month. Additionally, players who log into Halo Infinite from now until July 18th will unlock themselves the Juneteenth emblem set for Juneteenth. Be sure to log into Halo Infinite now to unlock yourself these sweet cosmetic items and to celebrate both Pride Month and Juneteenth. On to this week's shop. We got the same Tenray items again for one more week until the drop of the Spartan Surplus Operation next Tuesday. HGS bundles are also still available, so check those out if you want additional emblems, weapon coatings, and weapon models. The first bundle in the shop is the Akari Legacy Bundle, which contains items like the Akari Helmet, the Clawed Plate Chest Piece, and the Fortune Bold Hydra Weapon Model. The second bundle in the shop is the Kendo Master Bundle, which contains items like the Kendo Helmet, the Mark Scar's Armor Coating, and the Leaping Bounty Psychic Weapon Model. The third bundle in the shop is the Red Waters Bundle, which contains items like the Hakushika Helmet, the Standing Slice Stance, and the Red Waters Visor. The fourth bundle in the shop is the Kawari Bundle, which contains items like the Lacquered Heartwood Chest Piece, the Kawari Helmet, and the Swim Moves Armor Effect. The fifth bundle in the shop is the Crimson Dawn Bundle, which contains items like the Scale Guard Weapon Coating, the Whisked Away Kill Effect, and the Crimson Dawn Bandit Rifle Weapon Model. The sixth bundle in the shop is the Automotio Bundle, which contains items like the Semblance Visor, the Worthy Opponent Armor Coating, and the Automotio Helmet. The seventh bundle in the shop is the Chan Mage Armor Set, which contains items like the Thorn Diver Stance, the Chan Mage Helmet, and the Enji Iro Visor. The eighth bundle in the shop is the Silent Sentry Set, which contains items like the Wet Crow Armor Coating, the Sparrow Temple chest piece, and the House of the Warriors emblem set. The last bundle in the shop is the Imperial Stance bundle, which contains the Imperial Court armor coating, the Battle Stance stance, and the Warrior Scholar emblem set. This is your last chance to nab these Tenrai themed items before they're gone. The Spartan Surplus Operation is sure to drop even more items next week. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite Promotions. A nameplate backdrop can still be earned with a purchase from the Wolverine X Halo Spartan Collection. By purchasing a pair of boots from this limited edition collection and signing up for emails from Wolverine, you can get yourself the Plasma Lock backdrop for Halo Infinite. After purchase, an order confirmation email should come through detailing how to unlock this backdrop. If you're the kind of Spartan that's always first to put their boots on the ground, consider purchasing a pair of these boots to unlock yourself this striking backdrop. Promotions are still available via the Xbox Gear Shop. By purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitics emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Naftali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. 
Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Wolverine promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. 3D artist Ace created this render titled Spartan Laser Beats Everything and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see a Spartan with the Spartan Laser next to a hunter they just decimated. We really like the framing and effects of this render. The Spartan looks great posing along the ground next to the dead hunter, and we like both the assortment of gear seen across their armor set, as well as the dauntless expression seen on their face. The effects of this piece are also magnificent, with the two best effects being the smoke seen coming from the Spartan Laser and the Dead Hunter, as well as the pool of orange alien blood seen accumulating under the Hunter's body. This Spartan appears to be fearless and a natural-born Covenant exterminator. To see this render, as well as more amazing works from Ace, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D artist, Hardwell Design, and the maker created this render of Master Chief in the city and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the render, we can see Master Chief walking through the ruins of a destroyed desolate city. We really like the lighting and atmosphere of this render. Chief looks incredible, surrounded by sand and various city debris, and the way the light hits the bridge and the building behind him looks absolutely amazing. The small elements seen in the render are also fantastic such as the wires seen across the ground, to the broken up vehicles seen in the background, like the smoking pelican seen just behind Chief. Chief may march alone here, but that doesn't mean his mission is over just yet. To see this piece, as well as more extraordinary works from Hardwell Design and the Maker, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. 3D animator Tristan created this Capture the Flag animation and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the video, we can see the blue team attempt to make an escape with the red team's flag, only to be thwarted by two rather speedy hunters. We really like the style and creativity of this animation. The style of this animation looks super great with snappy character movements, and we also appreciate the small story told by this short video. We quite enjoyed how the hunters rolled across the ground to catch up to the escaping warthog in this animation, which really reminded us of the rolling movements seen from both the Bowrock of the Bionicle franchise and the Droidekas of the Star Wars franchise. This video will surely fill any classic Halo multiplayer fan with both nostalgia and some good Halo humor. To see this animation, as well as more breathtaking works from Tristan, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two firefight maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you want to check in at the finest of firefight destinations. This is Hotel Halo by Halo Infinite Forger Tost EZ28. This map takes place within and around a massive hotel building and is great for Firefight King of the Hill. This map looks prestigious, high-end, and reminds us greatly of the Firefight map Alpha Sight from Halo 3 ODST. We love the center room where most of the main action takes place, with its surrounding areas also functioning as great strategic points to stop incoming banished forces. The details of this map look truly fantastic, and we love the elements we can find that really tell us that we're in a grand hotel complex. Plenty of weapons and equipment can be found on this map, with some items even hidden and placed out of sight. Besides hidden items, one secret we'll share is the teleporter hidden within the center room statue that will take players to a secret room where Chief and Arbiter guard a hidden skull. This room also contains three specialized weapon crates that provide random weapons for players to cause mayhem with. This hotel may be booked by the banished, but one can still claim the VIP suite if they happen to defeat all the guests staying at this five-star Halo hotel. To send your enemies back to the front desk on this map for yourself, bookmark Tost Easy 28's map with the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you find saving Hyrule from Ganon and his banished troops to be of utmost importance. This is Castle Town by Halo Infinite Forger Happy Majora. This map takes place within the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess's version of Castle Town and works best with big team battle game modes and firefight King of the Hill. 
This recreation of Castletown looks amazing and plays super well with Firefight King of the Hill. We love the different locations where we can slay banished troops, as well as all the scenery displayed in each map section. Players start the match just outside the town's walls, and then make their way all the way through to reach the hills right inside that go deeper into the castle's interior. Our favorite hill zone has to be the one just outside the castle itself, where players can use the surrounding hedges for cover and to regen shields. Plenty of useful supplies can be found on this map, and ammo pickups will surely help any hero of Hyrule defeat banished forces that Ganon may throw at him. This castle and its accompanying town may lay under heavy enemy siege, but Hyrulean warriors can surely push on through and defeat Ganon's forces, especially if they don Mjolnir armor, fit for a chosen one. To save the princess on this map for yourself, bookmark Happy Majora's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. That is all the community highlights we have for you folks today. If you would like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. That is all the infinite news we have for you folks today. Play the Tenrai 4 operation for its last week, and get excited for the Spartan Surplus operation dropping next Tuesday. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today, and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The 10 x 4 operation is about to end, and players will soon be able to earn even more rewards from the Spartan Surplus operation. Get ready for even more updates still to come. Enjoy the end of June, everyone. We will see you all in Infinite.